Hi, I'm Lindsay. I'm a senior. I'm from Connecticut. My name is Quinn. I'm a senior from Fredericksburg, Virginia. And I'm Taylor. I'm a senior health promotion major from Warrington, Virginia. Hey, let's go. All right, so here we are in Drysdale. Uh, this is our student center on campus. Right in front of me, we have the hub, which is our information center. Uh, we have all the information about all of our fun activities on campus at this desk. You can sign up for outdoor leadership program events. Uh, we take people on hikes, we go kayaking, caving. They have cave prom sometimes. Um, you can get tickets to sports games like our local team, the Hillcats baseball team. Um, and then just around the corner over here, I'll come and show you guys, we have what is called Pete's Place. We have a bunch of student offices back here, um, like if you're interested in Student Government Association or the Student Activities Board, and it's also just a fun place to hang out and do some homework. Getting recorded when I said it. Up the stairs we go. I gotta look. We should not have this authority. <laughs> Over here, we have our campus store. I like to joke, you can get pretty much anything that has the word Lynchburg on it or a Hornet. You can also pick up all of your textbooks from the campus store, which is super nice. So you don't have to worry about them getting held up somewhere because they'll be right here when you get to school. So this is one of our three gyms that we have here on campus. Um, it's mostly cardio equipment, as you can see. So like some treadmills and ellipticals and things like that. We do have some weight machines. Something really cool that we have in here though is our fitness studio. So students can come in and use this space um, whenever they should like stretch after a workout or something, they have that option, which is super cool. Also, you can see that over here we have pool, ping pong, air hockey, foosball. So students can go and play that whenever they would like. <laughs> Um, so right here we have our Office of Equity and Inclusion and their job is just making sure that all of our students have a safe and welcoming environment here on campus and some of our student run organizations also have their offices in there. Right across the hall we have our Center for Community Engagement. So as a university we do 70,000 hours of community service each year. It's a really big part of who we are. Um, also, this office is home to our Bonner Leadership Program, which is a four-year service opportunity that you apply to separately once you've been admitted. Okay, so right now we are in Westover, which is one of our dining options that we have here on campus. This one is more grab-and-go, so you can get a lot of sandwiches and salads in here. And then over here we have our mail room area. So this is where you can pick up a bunch of your packages. Here you'll get an email when you get your package in and then we have all of our PO boxes over here as well. All right, so I'm walking into another one of our dining options here at Drysdale. Uh, right behind me, we have what is called LC. This is like our version of Chipotle on campus. Uh, you can walk down the line and tell them whatever you want in your burrito or your bowl. And then right over here in front of me, we have Starbucks. We do have an on-campus Starbucks for you guys to use. Uh, it's super convenient. I would always stop here before my 9 a.m. on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, my freshman year. Qu nice quick picnic before classes. So this is our dining hall. The way it works is while you live in traditional residence halls, you're required to be on an unlimited meal plan. But with that, you get unloaded swipes into our dining hall all day, all semester. So you never have to worry about running out of food, which is super nice. Um, we also get six meal exchanges Monday through Friday that you can go and use downstairs. You can use your meal exchanges in Westover or at LC. You also receive $200 of express money each semester that you can use all over campus, including our on-campus dominoes. Um, something that's really nice about the dining hall is you can see we have a bunch of different setups for students, so there's always food out for us, which is super nice. We also do some really fun themed dinners sometimes. So one time we had a Harry Potter themed dinner because we kind of think that our dining hall looks like the dining hall in Harry Potter. So all the food was themed after that, which was super fun. For the Super Bowl, we'll actually have a Super Bowl themed dinner and the dining hall will get broken up into one side being for one team and one side being for the other team. So you sit on the side that you support. I personally am a super, super duper picky eater. Like I don't like when my foods touch, but I find that there's always something for me to eat in the calf. Okay, so right now I am walking into the Dell. You probably know of it from other schools as their quad, but here at the University of Lynchburg, we call it our Dell. And this is the best time of year to come to campus because of all the trees are changing color during the fall. This is one of our first year residence halls. As you can see, every floor has its own lounge. You can come and hang out in here. All right, so I am in one of our showrooms right now. 
So basically everything that you see in this room that is kind of patterned like wood, that's what you get when you come to campus free of charge. We've got dressers, desks, chairs, beds. If you want to loft your bed, no problem. All you have to do is request it when you move on to campus. Uh, all of our rooms for Tate and Montgomery Hall, which are our first year residence halls, they are all doubles, all community style. So you guys are gonna share bathrooms um, based off which side of the floor you're on because usually it's organized guys on one side and girls on the other. Um, each floor also has its own kitchen, full set of kitchen equipment for you guys to use. But don't worry, you guys can also bring your own fridge if you want. Um, if you want to just bring a normal mini fridge, that's completely fine, but you can also run through the school and get the microwave attached to the top. Super great deal for you guys. Um, all of our rooms, big plus, do come with their own controlled AC unit. Um, I know that was a huge plus for me because I kept my room as freezing cold as possible all year round. Um, and then for our roommates, a couple different ways you can find your roommate. We have a roommate dating profile. You fill out questions like how hot or cold do you like the room? Do you like to go to bed late or early? And it'll pair you with someone similar. You can also list someone's name. And if they list your name on their application, you guys will get paired to live together for the year. Uh, and then we also have a couple different living learning communities. Those are completely optional. You just opt in or opt out. We have one for the Westover Honors College. We have a diversity and inclusion one. We have an academic achievement one. Um, also, what I can talk about in here is our security systems on campus. We do have blue lights on the front of every building. Um, your own personal student ID will get you into your own residence hall. You can have guests over whenever you like. You just have to let them in yourself. And then we also have what is called the Live Safe app. It connects us directly to our own personal campus security officers. Uh, you can request rides after dark. You can uh, FaceTime someone if you're walking across campus so that you have someone to talk to while you're doing it. And you can also report anonymous tips or get things like uh, weather tips when you find out that classes are canceled due to snow. We have laundry in each building. We have it on the third floor for both Tate and Montgomery. Super easy. It's $1.50 to wash, $1.50 to dry, and it all gets put onto your laundry card that you can use. Um, and first years can bring their cars to campus. We have their own personal parking lot called The Nest, and it is security accessed. So only you guys can scan in with your own IDs to get in there. One thing that's really great about our first year residence halls is both of the buildings come with their own laundry rooms right on the third floor of each. We have a bunch of machines for you guys to use and you don't have to worry about using cash or quarters because we have these cards that you get when you move in for the first time and you can just load money straight onto those to do your laundry. Okay, so here we are at Friendship Circle, which is the center of our campus. Over here we have a seal and our little superstition that we have here on campus is that nobody steps on it before they graduate because if you do, you either won't graduate on time or you won't graduate at all and no one wants to do that and I've stepped on it and I'm not graduating on time. I probably shouldn't have said that, but it's okay. Now we're kind of walking through some of our buildings. So over there we have Tate Hall and Montgomery Hall. So all of our first year students are like nestled away in that corner over there. And then over here we have our chapel. So we were founded by the Disciples of Christ and now we're interdenominational and welcoming and accepting of all faiths. Uh, over here is Shul Hall, which is one of our academic buildings and it's connected to our library here on campus. How do I say the building again? Which one? Hobbs Sigler. Um, over here we have Hobbs Sigler. Sigler? Hobbs Sigler Hall. Um, this is our math and science building here on campus. And something that we really like to brag about is the fact that we have an undergraduate cadaver lab because it's one, typically something that you don't find at a university of this size. Two, especially at the undergraduate level, you don't find it. And something else that's really cool is we are the only private university in Virginia to have an undergraduate cadaver lab. And then we come on over here. We have Hopwood Hall, which is our main academic building here on campus. So a lot of your done ed classes will be in there. Something really nice and convenient is a lot of your professor's offices will actually be over in Carnegie. Um, so you can always pop in after class to go see them and get extra help, which is awesome. And then come over here. This building over here with those giant pillars, that is Hall Campus Center. We have a ballroom in there that students can use for a variety of events. But then I like to say, everyone who keeps the school running probably has their offices in there. So our president, our security, the business office, the registrar, the people who pay me, they all have their office in there. So if you're ever looking for anyone important, they're most likely in there. 
And then over here we have Hunley Hall. Um, this is one of our residence halls that you have as an option after your first year. It's sweet style, it's two people sharing a room, connected to two people sharing a room through a bathroom. And then on the first floor of that building, it's home to our health and counseling center. So we are fully staffed with nurse practitioners and they can help you. Some services are free, some come with an additional charge. But something super convenient that you can do is you can actually get all of your prescriptions delivered right to campus and pick them up in the health center. It has a store here on campus and you can use your express money here. And I will say all of their coffee, breakfast and lunch food is to die for. I could spend literally all day here. And as you can see, it's pretty popular with our students too to come and hang out here in between classes or to get some work done. Here at Jewel Hall, we do have a student-run investment fund on campus. So anyone from any major who is a student here can join and they get to invest $100,000 of the school's endowment right into the stock market. You can see we have a state-of-the-art room and they come and they, ho they hold weekly meetings here. Um, and it's just really great practice uh, for a lot of business majors um, or anyone to get some experience with the stocks. One really great thing about Lynchburg is that we are all about students getting hand, hands-on experience in their major before they graduate. So we have really cool spaces in here like this. I'm in Shul Hall right now um, and we are on our own TV set. So if you are interested in media relations or marketing at all, this is just one of the really cool like special use rooms that you're going to have access to to get some experience before you're out in the real world with a job. Here's just another example of one of the rooms that students have access to to get some more hands-on learning when they are uh, a part of our student body here. Another great thing that we offer here on campus academically are these breakout rooms. These breakout rooms hold anywhere from one to two to ten people. It's a great place to get away and study outside of your room. You can also reserve them which is awesome. Each one comes with a table and a whiteboard to use as well. Something really nice is our library is connected to school so you're always able to get into it. Um, so this is our library. Our first floor is our talking floor so students can come and work with each other, talk with each other which is super nice and then once you go up to our second floor it's our completely silent floor. Um, we have a bunch of different study setups for students, which is super nice. So depending on how students like to study, we had the option for them. We also have a large variety of books, CDs, DVDs, magazines, and newspapers for students. We also have a really large collection of online databases as well. And if we don't have access to it here on campus, we are part of interlibrary loan. So you are able to request that material and get that, and we'll be able to get that for you. Something else that's really nice that we have here is our librarians. They're awesome. You can make appointments with them to, and they'll be able to help you find a bunch of resources for any paper or project across all disciplines, which is super awesome. Look how pretty our school is. All the trees, it's so beautiful. I'd say everything on campus is about a five minute walk. However, I usually have to give myself 10 minutes because I always find that I have to stop and say hello to so many people. And then that takes so much more time to get places because of that. This is Hobbs. That is our math and science building, just so you can get a better, better view of it. Um, so over here, this is Dillard. This is our fine arts center. So something really cool that we have in there is we have our Dar mu Museum. <laughs> Look how pretty Hopwood is. Love her. Here in Hopwood Hall, this is an average class size that we have here on campus. Our student to faculty ratio is 10 to 1. So some academic options that we do have here on campus are PASS and the Wilmer Writing Center. For the Wilmer Writing Center, it is actually downstairs in Hopwood Hall. It's awesome because you can take any paper there free of cost, whether it's a math paper, a history paper, science paper, anything. We have all um, different students with different specialties in order to help you with your paper. You can also go at the beginning to brainstorm or you can go in for revisions as well, which is awesome. We also have pass like i said and pass is where you go into a class and you'll have a pass leader so your teacher actually gets to choose who the pass leader is and they get to sit in on the lecture so they know exactly what you're going over in class and then they hold separate office hours than the professor does so it's another studying opportunity that you get to use and which is awesome because you know that they know the information well they have already gone through the class and they've already gotten an a in it before
Additionally, here at Lynchburg, 32% of our students study abroad. It's a great opportunity, and what's awesome about our study abroad is that it's actually faculty-led, so you're not going with any strangers. Um, we offer so many different study abroads. You can do it over the summer for a few weeks. We also offer them semester long, so you go study at a different institution. We also offer them over our J term, which is our winter term here, and one of our most popular ones for that is going to Vietnam, Cambodia, and Laos. We also have the Career and Professionalism Center here at Lynchburg. It's such a great place to utilize where they can help you with your resumes, your LinkedIn, anything like that. We also do offer uh, mock interviews in the Career and Professionalism Center, which is awesome. So they'll actually pull professors from that specific department to help give you a mock interview and then they give you feedback. They'll also take your um, headshot for any professional pictures that you may need as well. And anyone can use it any year that you are here at the University of Lynchburg. We also send a lot of students out for internships and careers and grad school out of our Career and Professionalism Center. Whether you stay local in Virginia, um, or you can go abroad at diff to different countries as well, which is awesome. Welcome to the Schellenberger Field, or as we call it, Shelly. We're part of the Old Dominion Athletic Conference, or the ODAC, which is Division Three. Um, if you notice on our field, we don't have field goals. That's actually because we don't have football, but we do have 24 varsity athletic teams. Uh, we also have club and intramural sports, so depending at which level you like to compete at, we have that option for you here, which is awesome. A lot of people will notice that we don't necessarily have as much bleacher seating as some other schools do. And that's because we actually do this really fun thing here as students and it's called pack the track. So that other side of the track over there will actually get ripped off for all of our home games for students to come and stay, uh, stay and sit, uh, watch games out. We'll bring out like our futons, our beanbag chairs, our desk chairs from our rooms, and we'll sit out and watch all of our home games. And it's definitely super fun to watch games from there and also to have people cheering for you when you're playing. Kind of just sticking with athletics, over there we have Turner Gymnasium, um, it's where our basketball court is. And it's also home to some of our exercise physiology classrooms. And in there we also have one of our, our second gym that we have here on campus. And that one mostly has assisted weight machines, some free weight racks. Um, and then we'll walk over and I'll show you guys our horn statue. Something really cool here that we have at the University of Lynchburg is we actually have the second largest hornet statue in the entire world. So, as we like to say, it's always a great day to be a hornet. And it's always a great day to have the second largest hornet statue in the world. Something else that's really cool and really nice about being a student at Lynchburg is your housing is guaranteed all four years. And after your first year, we have a bunch of really great options. So we have some residence halls. But then we also have um, apartments, townhouses, and houses that students can live in. So you're never too far away from anything on campus. Look at Westover, she's so pretty. All right, so we are now in Westover Hall. This is uh, one of the housing options, mainly for sophomores. This building is suite style, so it's gonna be two doubles, both sharing one bathroom together. Uh, also down here, you can see right in front of me, we have a lot of stuff for the Westover Honors College. So this is the new home for it. So we have a lot of classrooms, study spaces, and professors' offices over there. It's really nice because when I was a sophomore living here, I could just come right downstairs to have some nice peace and quiet to study for my classes. Here on campus, we have the Westover Honors College. We basically have an alternative general education path for students to take. Uh, we also take what are called colloquia. So those are interdisciplinary elective classes, and you have to take three of those uh, over your whole four years here on campus. Um, you have to write a specialized Westover thesis at the end of it, um, and you get to stay with the same professors and students all four years throughout your college experience so that you really get to know them and develop a personal relationship with all of them. Another one of our really fun traditions that we have here is that when our athletics team win ODAC, which is our conference, they get to come home and ring the bell, or if they win NCAAs, so it's a really cool tradition that we have that they'll be able to run home and ring the bell so that all of our campus people can hear that they just won. How cool. I hope to ring it one day. Thanks for hanging out. We hope you enjoyed campus as much as we do.